you are already into lesson 2 energy supply and demand energy supply and demand lesson talks more about uh, energy resources basically appreciate global and national energy consumption patterns in the past few decades uh, what kind of energy we have been consuming and how much we have been consuming and how we compare with the rest of the world etc uh, based on those patterns we can also deduce some information about how much energy we use to do a job which is called energy intensity we will talk about that energy intensity based on the past pattern predict something about the future you know what kind of energy sources we would be needing and how much we would be needing based on the past trends and we will also look at uh, you know energy reserves do we have those if we need more coal if we need more oil if we need more gas you know do we have enough of those resources if we have it's great if not what do we do those kinds of uh, analysis energy analysis so obviously you are going to see a lot of numbers and statistics and one of the questions that I always get is uh, hey do I have to remember all these numbers you know and uh, coal is 50 percent of uh, the generation electricity generation in this country and uh, natural gas accounts for another 17 percent or 20 percent from uh, nuclear do we have to remember these numbers my advice is you don't have to remember but you get the story behind these numbers in other words you have to know the fact that coal is the main energy source for electricity generation similarly over two-thirds or 75 percent of our uh, oil products or petroleum is used for transportation duh so we need to know that transportation is basically run by petroleum or petroleum use is transportation that is a fact you don't need to remember the exact numbers but if there is something that is very insignificant quantities or significant quantities you you might remember for example renewable energy sources supply less than 10 percent of our energy source that is a fact you don't need to worry about whether it is 9.2 or 9.3 or 8.5 you know you don't have to worry about that so just to give you a clue you don't have to worry about uh, the exact numbers but the story that is taught using these numbers is what you have to concentrate on and we will also have one uh, numerical uh, type of problem in this in this chapter that is predicting the energy for future uh, that follows exponential functions so we'll talk about that and there will be you know a few numerical problems for you to practice so and after you do this you can always do a puzzle that is attached to this uh, over here crossword puzzle and um, uh, there are about 23 slides here you know discuss some questions and do a crossword puzzle and then uh, you can do this practice you know set questions this will not be graded so I mean it will be graded but it will not count for your class grade okay and uh, you you have some problems in your textbook you can work those and uh, then uh, you are ready to take the quiz which counts for your grade all right good luck